Hello Greatness, you are welcome and tuned into Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Stay tuned for another inspiring episode from your host, and now let's welcome Dr. Vincent Apong. Hello Greatness, how are you doing? I believe you are doing great. You are welcome to Ash of God TV or podcast, um, depending on what you are watching or listening to, right? If you are watching this, then welcome to the TV. If you are listening, then welcome to the podcast, right? Um, I guess we have a podcast too um, on Spotify and um, all the other um, podcast channel so you can search for us over there as well um, so we started with the book Wealth by Joseph Saber Banner and um, we began with an introduction to the book and he was asking some very profound questions um, and in the end he answered and saying I am is responsible for all this. I did it all. I chose those conditions for you to be born into. I created every condition you met in life and forced you through them and through every experience of whatsoever nature. It was I who brought you to where you are today. You of yourself did nothing. That personality you call yourself is merely an automation which I move to suit my purpose. And so we want to continue from there. Um, It doesn't have chapters. It's just one short um, book or um, letter or however you want to look at it. But I always decide to break it into different sections so that again it's easy for people to listen to um, and it's not too long right and so um, this next part which I call chapter 2 or lesson number 2 is who am I who am I so let's dive right into it who am I I who speak so let me Go back a moment. Um, If you follow the introduction, you realize that the who am I is not talking about you. It's talking about the person who said that it is he who brought you through all the conditions that you find yourself in. Right. So that person is about to introduce himself to us. He said, I who speak with so much assurance and authority. Be still and know I am you, your true self. That higher, purer, supernatural part of you that arouses itself as you read, which sits back and listens and judges and points out the truth of these words to you consciously, and which from the beginning has guided and taught you all the truth you know today not that personality you show to the world and which you think is yourself not that proud that selfish mask of a self that has been feeding you on error all these years for i am your real self that something in you which you know has made you all you really are That has inspired and cautioned and chided and urged and led you on and on. Despite the hardships and the obstacles and the sufferings and the failure. Until you have in a dim, half-conscious way grown to rely upon it. Without knowing definitely why. Yes, I am that something. I am that divine self of you, abiding deep within your human personality, 
almost stifled by its worldly ideas, its selfish desires, its foolish pride and ambitions, yet ever seeking, longing, yearning to make you conscious of my existence, of my real identity. Yes, my child, that something am I. I, who from the beginning have been sitting here within, quietly waiting for this moment. Yet, while waiting, it was really I who was guiding you all the time, who put each thought into your mind, made you to made you do everything you did, and who utilized the foreknown results of each thought and act so as eventually to bring you and others to a final conscious recognition of me. And if I have permitted you to feed on these worldly ideas, to follow their selfish desires, to grow fat with pride, and even to gain the summit of all your ambitions, it was only that you might learn the hollowness of it all and that you could awaken to the realization that there is something else, something which the soul of you yearns to bring forth. Mm. Yes, I have blessed you with by giving you all these things you sometime in the past desired, desired so strongly that you forced me to give them to you. For desire is the agent of my will and supplies you with everything you want. If you want it with sufficient power to compel it to serve you. But have these things proved the blessings you thought and expected? Have you gotten out of them real enjoyment? And is your heart now at peace? If not, then why? It is only because you have failed to recognize me, your true self, as the giver and have used them not at all in my service, but only to satisfy your own selfish pleasure. But I have allowed you to indulge yourself to your heart's content with all such empty joys, even leading you on from one to another, holding out to you the possibility of finding in some new bubble or sensation or accomplishment or power that something you crave, but which, alas, you have never found and never even glimpsed. Except perhaps when in the hours of deeper remorse and penitence, You turn from this world of self you created around you to the ideal within and dimly sensed there my presence. Ah, my dear son, I have indeed given you these blessings and they are real blessings for they are my special sign of approval to you. But the blessings are not what you think them to be. The real blessings are in the qualities I have developed in you, in the acquirement of these riches, in the attainment of these desires, the qualities of determination to win, for persistency of purpose, the power to do, the ability to master every natural fault and weakness that stand in the way, all of which are but different faces of my will the use of which I have been teaching you, that later on I can manifest in and through you with your consent. My will in spiritual ways, even as you have been manifesting it in worldly ways. In other words, all attaining, whether it be of money, of power, of faith, in art, literature or music, science, philosophy or religion is but so much training in the use of my will 
and therefore labor, business, science, religion, the arts, or the professions are merely incidents or the outer means are used to develop in you the conscious use of my will. Mm. Mm. So you may think it is your will that is so acting, but so long as you consider yourself as separate from me and you use this will only to please yourself, it naturally is self-will. And that is why it brings you no lasting or tangible good, only trouble, unhappiness and heartache when the novelty of possession wears off. And so, of course, you cannot know me and therefore cannot acknowledge that all that you do or have or suffer is but the result of the action of my will working thus in and through you to bring about my purpose. But the time is coming when you will understand somewhat of this. Hence this message. Hence this special favor to you. You may ask why I, God, the omnipotent one, the the all good, the all wise, made such an unequal distribution of my blessings, of my substance, of my intelligence, and of the use of my will, given to the few vast surplus and to the many such a pitiful lack. You may well ask, for that is the problem I have given you and all to solve. Mm. But as I have enabled you partly to solve this problem, you, even though you do not know it, I will now disclose to you some of the apparent mysteries. Mm. I'll read this last part again. He said, you may ask, why I, God, the omnipotent one, the all good, the all wise, made such an unequal distribution of my blessings, of my substance, of my intelligence, and of the use of my will, giving to the few the vast surplus, and to the many such a pitiful lack. You may well ask, for that is the problem I have given you and all to solve. But as I have enabled you partly to solve this problem, though you do not know it, I will now disclose to you some of the apparent mysteries. And that brings us to the end of lesson number two of wealth. Lesson number three um, is no, no, the knowing. Um, I will see you in lesson number three um, of the book Wealth. God richly um, bless you. Have a good one. And please don't forget to share, subscribe, and uh, Add some comment. Let's see what your takeaway is. What did you get from this particular um, lesson? God richly bless you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Thanks for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on becoming all you were born to be. See you in the next episode.